Wow, it's nice to have everybody out, especially on this beautiful evening. I'd like to welcome everyone to the uh, April Elizabethan City Schools Board of Education meeting. Uh, Dr. May sends his regrets. He's with a critical patient. He's going to try to get here as quickly as he can. Um, we have a lot of people we're going to be uh, recognizing tonight, and for those of you who are antsy, whatever age you are, after we recognize everyone, I will give everybody an opportunity to leave if you have to, but you are certainly welcome to stay for the entire meeting. Uh, if everyone would, please stand, and we're going to have a moment of silence and pledge the flag. Okay, let's have our moment of silence. Thank you. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, Dr. Gardenauer, if you'd like to start recognizing people okay. that'd be great mr smith do you yeah uh, football players coaches if you all kind of gather up here and go take a little picture come on up come on up you recognize travis travis oh you, don't, you think i need it <laughs> <laughs> have you met me uh, okay. is it on check it's good oh look at that you, they, they, they want on the stage i didn't even say get on the stage and they get up there that's pretty good um uh, thanks to the school board for inviting us uh, and giving us the opportunity to recognize these young athletes. Um, we have lots of athletes involved in spring sports as well, uh, baseball players and a lot of people on the track team. We had a big tr home track meet tonight down at the high school. Uh, this particular year um, is an exceptional year. Uh, I've had the privilege of coaching at the middle school for 15 years and, um, you know, Every year's a good year, but years when you win a lot of games, it's, it's, it's a lot more fun for everyone. Uh, and this is just a great group of guys who came out, set lots of goals, achieved them sixth grade, seventh grade, and into their eighth grade year. And then there's several JV players here. I mean, the amount of work they put in, there is no, there, no other middle school in the area works as hard um, or harder than we do. And uh, these young men here are a testament to what it means to come out and work and, and put in the work at a very young age. Um, and uh, uh, we just cannot be more proud of them. The varsity team went 8 0, undefeated. And the JV team went 7 and 1. Their only loss was a non conference loss. Uh, uh, we decided it would be a good idea to play Mitchell County's varsity team. Uh, as our extra game, <laughs> so uh, uh, we'll take that one. Uh, the coach, us coaches will take that one, but uh, what a tremendous, tremendous team, what a tremendous season, and what a blessing it is to be able to coach a good young man who come out and work hard. Um, and to the coach and staff, those that are here, and we have others who had other commitments as well, uh, cannot say enough about the time they put in, the sacrifices they make, giving up of their time with their families, um, to put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into these young men, and it is so, it's so fun to watch them grow. Uh, I could talk on and on, but I won't. Um, so on behalf of the football team, thank you. Uh, on behalf of the coaching staff, thank you. To the players, thank you, as always, to the parents. Um, you all put in a lot of hours and sacrifice, and your support uh, makes this program special. Uh, to the eighth graders, we're ex so excited to see what you all would go on and do at the high school into the sixth and the seventh graders, the rising seventh and eighth graders. Uh, the tradition will continue and uh, spring practice starts in just a couple weeks. So uh, yeah, we don't, it, fun don't stop. So uh, we're very proud of them. And um, I guess, do we just recognize them? We just clap for them? Whatever you want. Well, give we'll, we'll give them a hand then, yeah, right. thank you. Uh, appreciate it, appreciate it. Thanks to the players. Thanks again to the parents. Uh, I'll put the mic down and we'll take a picture and I'll get out of the way.
Thanks again, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. And next will be Ms. Sarah Morris from TA Duggar Enrichment Teacher, recognizing students tonight. It's funny, I busted down the door to Smith Deal's room yesterday and I said, are you saying anything tomorrow? He said, no, I'm just gonna take a picture. No words, <laughs> no words. So I didn't quite prepare as much, but um, I always struggle with trying to decide if I'm gonna share the long story or the short story, but because you all are much more important, I'm gonna go with the short story. I kinda had an idea this summer to help beautify uh, downtown a little bit and with the help from some coworkers and colleagues, it kind of spun into a student-led um, competition. So these are a few of our winners, and what they did is they wrote about some struggles or trials in their lives and how they kind of uh, make it positive. And then they made a piece of art, which most of you have probably seen. It's a barn quilt hanging downtown next to the alleyway in Jiggy Rice. Um, I kind of stole the idea from a book about the Great Depression. These women who were living like really crummy lives wrote little stories and then they always had a positive twist on the end and how their life was still good. So I was very impressed with each of them. Uh, you should really go read their stuff. I won't say anything more because I think that's good motivation for you to go downtown and read them. But uh, this is Caden Rogers and he was our middle school winner. Uh, this is, have to see your face. Riley and Reagan May, <laughs> and Reagan Price, Kayla Story, Maylee, Macy Burleson, and Jasmine Turner. And yep, that's all we have. So if you could give them a hand. Uh -huh. Our next recognition, uh, Mr. Campbell. Well, we did this last semester uh, with last semester's integrated group, just a chance for the board to hear from the students themselves, kind of what they think about the integrated class. And so this semester's uh, project was a podcast. Uh, National Public Radio had a, a contest nationwide for students. And so Mr. Wasserman and I, who's sorry you couldn't be here, he has a sick child, but um, we had them working on the podcast. They had to pick a local person or a local history story, and we had 12 of those entered. And Miss Clara has the email that she can send to the board, and you guys can listen to them, and they're really good. So. Um, you know, should be really proud of them. But we have two of our student groups here, one that did a story on Todd McKeon, and the other group did a story on Donnie Davis. So let's just hear from maybe the McKeon group first, and I just asked them to share with you all kind of what they thought about the class, what they thought about the projects, did it help them learn, things like that. And the McKeons uh, came, and they're with us tonight, and they wanted to say something about what they thought about the students, maybe what they were learning. Thank you for having us. These students are amazing. I recognized that when uh, we went through the interview process. They are a team of four, and through their questioning, they took turns asking questions. So they were very well organized, very well showed professionalism, and they even uh, showed humbleness and love to us. When we laughed, they laughed. When we cried, they cried. And so we're so thankful for that. And when they finished the final product of this podcast, they uh, came to our house to play that for us. And this was after school hours and they spent some three hours with us and uh, it gave us a chance to go through some of the plaques and 
the medals and pictures and resolutions in which we have a lot of memorabilia. So that gave them a chance to look at that. And with the time that we spent with them in the interview process, I think this also helped them to finalize the po podcast. Now, from day one, February the 28th, 1993, it has been our goal and the goal of the ATF to never forget February 28th, 1993. That day is etched in history. And so it's very important for us, and this is another one of those tools that will help us, and it really helps us, and it helps the school if they win, because these students are competitors, uh, they want to win, and I know that they have done their best to try to achieve this. And uh, so I thank you, I thank the students, I thank the teachers, and I thank you, the board. to the kids and it was so easy to talk with them when we had sandwiches and chips and cokes so I think that's what we need now so we could calm our nerves. <laughs> <laughs> they were just so kind and um, one of the questions Mr. Campbell sent to say that um, that we could be thinking about what we wanted to say about it was um, would you want your grandchildren or uh, children to go and take those classes that he's teaching uh, they're combining an English class and a history class, and uh, all this stuff they're learning besides just book work. I mean, to do to go into the community and talk to families and do these podcasts. I mean, that's just really big stuff. More than just you know how to learn to uh, do math, and so we're just learning so much more. And uh, Mr. Campbell teaches them so much confidence to do get up in front of crowds like this and do things. I think I'm ready to sign up for the class with the <laughs> 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 I think it's a lot. So it's, uh, we're doing wonderful things in the in, in this Bethan High School and Mr. Campbell and everybody else involved. What teachers are just uh, to really be commended for what they're doing. They're going beyond what's required, and we appreciate it. And we want Todd to be remembered, and they're helping us do that. Thank you. Um, my name is Macy Burleson, and I was one of the group members who was in Todd McCann's podcast group. Um, first of all, I just want to say that I feel so